Today I'm going to show you how we can lay out our drill point gauge. That's the first, uh, one of the first projects you'll have after you do your block uh, for your drill press project. But uh, this is our layout, uh, our drill point gauge. Uh, it looks like this. And I usually write some notes on the print uh, before I start because uh, when I have incremental uh, measurements, I like to turn them into absolutes so I can come off the end and have it work just absolutely fantastic. And on the last page, it shows me the hole sizes and things like that. We won't put the graduation marks on this, but you can if you want. We have a way to do it here, but that's not necessary. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do, I wanna blue my part. So I use some Dykin Blue, blued my part. Now it looks a little greenish tint, but that's okay. That just means my Dykin's a little bit old, but we wanna scrap this this one and one eighth line down the middle first. The first thing we're gonna do is one and one eighth. So I'm gonna scrap this right down the middle here, just like that. So you can see my one and one eighth line. That's this line right here. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll scrap my line across here at five inches. So when I get it five inches right here, that's where my angle is going to begin. So I will scribe a line. Now I could do it several ways. I like using my calipers. I could use a, a protractor head on, uh, on a combination set. I could use a steel rule and lay out marks and things like that and connect them like, like a carpenter would. But I find it easier just to use my calipers. They're hardened on the face, they're stainless steel, so they work well. So we have a 31 degree angle, so 31 from 90 makes 59. So I set my protractor at 59 degrees. And I'm going to use a scriber, a simple little scriber like this. And I'm going to scribe just like that. There is my angle. Uh, 31 degree, 59 degree coming off of this side. Depends on what side you come off of. Now I do want to make sure since my plate, it should be two by six, it's probably a little wider. I cut it on a saw. The stock came in, it's 10 gauge. It came in six inches wide. So I think I will put a two inch mark so I'll know where to cut that two inch whenever I go to cut this thing. So I'm gonna come off of this side here and I'm merely going to put a two inch, two inch mark like that. So there you can see my two inch mark, my angle, my one and one eighth line. And now what I want to do is get my point for my radius. You see a half inch radius there? So I'm going to set my calipers at one half inch. And I'm going to merely scrap a line here. And I will scrap a line here. Now where those two lines meet, I'm going to take uh, my prick punch. Prick punch is 60 degrees. Center punch is 45. That's a test question, so make sure you remember that. Prick punch is 60 degrees, included angle. Center punch is 40 is 90, 45 and 45. So I'm going to take my layout hammer, which is normally two to four ounces, and I'm going to see if I can turn this around where you can see it. I'm going to go right in the middle of those crosshairs. Just put that little dot there. Nothing big, because I'm just going to scribe a radius on here. So I take my dividers, these are dividers, and I'll set my dividers by dropping it in, let's see, let's go to the one inch mark. This rule has um, marks in, inside of it, it's not just painted on. So I set my dividers at a half inch, and I'm going to drop one leg into that little mark I just made. Now I'm going to scrub around, whoops, chipping off some of the bluing there. So you can see how now I have my radius, so when I start filing, I'll file to that radius. Now the last line that I'm going to make is that 9 16th line from the bottom. Uh, 9 16 is 562 and a half, and I'm going to scrap it all the way down. So I'm going to sit it here and go all the way down, just like that. So now you can see it's starting to look like a drill point gauge somewhat. And the reason this is flaking just slightly is I put a little bit too much uh, bluing on it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my hose. See these hose, they're actually gonna be drilled. The first one is a half inch. And I make all my hose from one end. I'm going to come from this end, put me across here, and I'll go to one inch. Put me across here. 
And now go to 1 and 5 eighths, which is 1.625 right there. Okay, now I will go with 2 and a quarter, 2.250. Put me a mark there. Now two and seven eighths, 2.875. It's much, much easier to work like this than it is with the steel rule and um, the scrabbing the lands. Now we want to go three and a half. Three and a half, four and a quarter, 4.250. And I'm coming off the same point every time, so it's called absolute measurement as opposed to incremental measurements. Now I'm gonna put my five inch right about there. Okay, so there's where each hoe is going to be. So first thing I'm going to do is prick punch each hoe. And then I'll come back and center punch. So whenever I prick punch or center punch, I tilt my punch at an angle. I drop it right in the crosshairs. Give it a little uh, tap, drop it in the crosshairs, give it a little tap, Oop, I almost missed that time. Drop it in the crosshairs, drop it in the crosshairs, drop it in the crosshairs, drop it in the crosshairs. Right here, my one inch mark, and then my half inch mark. Now, since I'm going to be grilling these and not that one, that one was just for the divider, I'm going to go and give these a good hard whack and that way when I go to drill them I'll have a good starting point. Alright so there is basically our drill point gauge. So what I'll do now, I'll take it on a bandsaw and I will cut down this side and I'll stay maybe a sixteenth away because I want to file that. I'm going to stay about a sixteenth away on this side and about a sixteenth away on that side and I will file this on the bench uh, with it in a vise, but I'm ready to start cutting. Okay, so if you have questions about this layout of the drill point gauge, uh, send me an email or shoot me a text and I'll do my best to answer you. Thank you so much.